We're joined now live on Sports Center by Zach Ertz from just outside New York, where the Eagles get a win. And well, I need to talk about your outfit game first. When did you become like a, an upper echelon guy and flex this sort of thing? Uh, when my wife told me I needed to be better in that regard, you know, she kind of <laughs> picks the outfits out, um, and she holds me to a high standard, so I got to do that. Well, wait, listen, that's just, you're a smart man, and I had a feeling that she might have had something to do with it, but tell her we we we, uh, we approve. It looks, uh, and, and uh, by the way, it's it's functional as well with the rain falling behind you. Um, before you came on with me, you said <laughs> we needed it, and I told you I agreed in a weird way. Why did you feel like you guys needed to play the way you did tonight? Yeah, I think uh, the first five weeks of the year, you know, we were stringing things along. You know, there would be there, there would be periods of uh, of plays where we where we were doing uh, really good things out there, and then there would be times where we were just struggling. And for us to come out here um, in New York against a division opponent, uh, we just needed this win. And I thought this is this is the exact template for us to be successful in this league. Uh, there was a lot of turnovers. The special teams played great, and then on offense, we did what we do. Uh, we scored in the red zone, um, and I thought we we uh, uh, we were always playing on the attack the entire game. I totally agree. It's the first time all year that you guys have passed over 24 points. But you and, and Carson, you, you looked like you looked last year. I, I thought the down, down on the goal line when we showed the highlight a little bit earlier, you're, you're, you, you switched the formation beforehand. Do you, do you feel like you got them in a coverage where they just were confused with the look you gave them? Um, I mean, they were in zone coverage, and I thought the play call was fantastic. I mean, that's a play that we've had in for two years now in the and we finally got it called in the game. So it was a play that we've repped a million times. Um, and obviously, it was a really good play call. Carson made a heck of a throw, and I just tried to get open uh, to the best of my abilities, and he found me in the corner of the end zone. Well, yeah, you do what you do, as you said. It, it, it's, it, is, interesting. <laughs> it is interesting, though, for a team that, that clicked so well last year on offense and got it humming to, to just to, to talk about, not that doubt creeps in, but I mean, just when, you know, you lose at home and you, you didn't look necessarily like yourselves against maybe the Colts. How, how much does, does the collectively the room start to look at each other and wonder, what are, what are we doing? Yeah, I think the one thing about this team is that our confidence never wavered. I mean, we right. got guys, like you said, we've done this before. Um, we're a team that's been through it all. You know, we've been through the lows, we've been through the highs. Um, and, and I was never worried about us uh, losing our confidence, losing our swagger. Um, and I think tonight just furthered that point. I mean, we came out here in the division and put out a performance that I think everyone is proud of. Last quick thought as it relates to Carson Wentz. I felt like he's the MVP of the league last year before he got hurt in that game against Los Angeles. And everybody wondered all throughout camp, when's he going to get back? When's he going to get back? How have you seen him progress from, say, August to now in terms of how, how much more comfortable and how much more himself he's becoming? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, he's, he's looking like the Carson of old. I mean, you can't look at him now and say this is a guy coming off a major knee injury. He looks like exactly like he did last year, except he's got a big brace on his left knee. But other than that, <laughs> right. he looks exactly like he always did. I, I wish he slid a little earlier sometimes, <laughs> uh, but that's just who he is. He's always going to compete for each and every yard, um, and that's why everyone loves playing for him. Yeah, talk to your man. He, I agree. He needs to get, get on the deck, man. You need to protect yourself. <laughs> Hey, Zach, we appreciate it. You know the high yes. level of excellence we expect from Stanford tight ends on this show, my guy Stanford Steve. So thank you for <laughs> exceeding that, and uh, stay healthy and good luck this year, all right? Oh, yeah, guys, thank you.